Hey guys, it's Claudia and today I'm just going to be doing an empties video for you guys today. My little elephant to empties bag was getting pretty full, so I decided to do an empties video. If you guys like these kind of videos, tell me. I love watching and making these videos, so I just thought I would do it. I have candles, body care, face items, makeup, that kind of stuff, and like fragrance and that kind of stuff. So yeah, um, let's get into this video and uh, yeah. <laughs> so the first thing I have here is the Evian Mineral Water Vapor Spray. I really like this spray to freshen up my face before I put my skincare products on or my makeup. I can't get anything else out. <laughs> I can't get anything else out. It's very, very disappointed, but I did repurchase it. So yeah, you can get these in a twin pack at Sephora, or you can get a big one at Ulta. The Fresh Berries Sugar Scrub, which I got this for my birthday, which I can still smell it. It smells so, so good, and I actually learned how to make my own sugar scrub. So if you guys want like a video on that, I can do that, and I just use it with like, this reusable jar. But yeah, so if you guys want a video on that, tell me. And I um, would have purchased this, but maybe not right now because I'm making my own now. So then here I have this wallflower. This is the vanilla bean marshmallow, and there's nothing left. I have many of these, so I'm not showing you guys the same one each time. I have many of them. That's the honest opinion. This is my favorite scent, um, especially for my bedroom. Right now I don't have this scent in. Um, right now in my room I have like more of a fruitier kind of scent in there. So that will be in the next MD's video. But yeah, this smells really nice, and I would repurchase this scent definitely. So now we have two luxurious shower gels. One is the Olola Bar by Marc Jacobs, and this has this nice matte finish. And this just was a very floral kind of scent. And um, I wouldn't have purchased it because I, for the price, but um, I'm not even a huge floral fan. So, yeah, but it was a nice shower gel. I got it for a gift from a friend, so I used it up. This next one, oh my god, I love this scent. This is the Someday by Jesse Bieber, and it has this shiny cover. And this just smells so delicious. I love it. Um, yeah, I really like this. And I wouldn't buy this for the price, too. I feel like I wouldn't buy it, spend that much on body care products. I feel like drugstore just is good. But yeah, it was a really nice scent. I will tell you guys that. Which I'm not really a fan of Justin Bieber, but his songs are good. So the next two things, I have two of these Clinique um, makeup removers, which these took me a pretty long time to use. This first one is a rinse off one, which me and my sister both use. And um, this is just, I, this is when I rinsed off my makeup, which I usually, usually use makeup wipes and um, my makeup remover. This is the one I use on a daily basis. This is the take off the day makeup remover for lids, lashes, and lips, which this is great for removing my, um, my eyeshadow and my mascara. It's really nice. Also for your lips, too. Can't forget about the blippies. And um, it's about six, seven, or eight dollars for this bottle. You can get a big one for like twenty-four or something. But I've just been buying the small ones just because these last me a good amount of time. And I'm, I don't know, maybe sometime in the future I'll buy the big one though. So yeah, the next product I have here is a perfume. This is the Champagne Love and Ice Plum from Bath and Body Works. This was a diamond shimmer mist, which I'm not even a huge fan of the diamond uh, shimmer mist, but I got this as a gift. And it smells really good. It just smells like berries and like ice and sugar but it was just nice to put on after I got out of the shower so I really like this and it came in handy to just you know freshen up my body after I came out of the shower. So next I have is a pocket back. I actually had this on my lunchbox at school in my little case and all my friends use this with me and this is the Daisy Dream Girl. I don't know I will continue to repurchase the shower gels. I don't know about this in the sign. I just kind of grab random scents that seem to look good because I mean it's a pocket back. So the next thing I have is a mascara. This is the CoverGirl Lash Splash Fusion, which um, I really wasn't a big fan of this mascara. I think there's a little bit of product even left in here, but I'm not going to finish it up. I got it in the summer, so I'm just, last summer. So I'm just like, I should, think I should throw this away now. But yeah, um, it was okay. I wouldn't repurchase it. I would get the Clump Crusher. I like that one. Product is the Love & Beauty Hydrating makeup wipes. These were a dollar for 15 wipes. So that was a good deal. Um, they were not hydrating. I feel like I needed a lot of wipes to take off my makeup and that's a feeling that I don't want. And um, I really haven't found my makeup wipes that I love a lot. If you guys have any makeup wipe recommendations, please link, please tell me down below because I really need new ones. But yeah, these were okay. I would only buy them if I was out of makeup wipes since I have them all. Only thing. So now we have three candles here. 
first one is just a mini from Bath and Body Works, which this was in a favorites video. This is the Big Island Bamboo, and I talked about an in-depth review in my favorites video. Um, I think it was the, I believe April favorites. Yes, it was in, I think April. April or May, no, April or March favorites. Check both of those, I don't know. But yeah, I, I describe it in that. And I, I'm going to repurpose this jar. So the next candle is the Yankee Candle Vanilla Cupcake. This took me, like, absolutely forever to finish up. Like, literally. Well. And it did not, did no black stuff at the top, which some of my candles do. And it was a two-wick thingy. It just smelled like sugar cookies and vanilla frosting and that stuff. I really like it, but I would not repurchase it for the price. But I would repurchase it if it was, like, on a sale or something. But, I mean, this is, like, 20 30 bucks, $27. Um, but, yeah, it was nice. I got it as a gift, so I would definitely, definitely use it. So then the next candle I have here is the Island Margarita from Bath & Body Works, which Bath & Body Works to me makes really good favorite candles. And just so you guys know, the extra racks at the bottom I cannot burn. A lot of people said, you can still burn that, I cannot burn, and extra racks I cannot burn. I'm sorry, I just, it won't let me, the wicks are too short. So this is the Island Margarita, which one of the wicks went out and the other two were still on, so I just, um, blew them all off at the same time. The description on this one was the intoxicating scent of sunny mandarin, sweet mango, and juicy plum with a freshly salted room. This is by far one of the strongest candles I've ever burned. It's very, very strong and it filled up my whole entire upstairs space and like through the steps. Yes, yeah, so I really like this. I would definitely repurchase the scent next year, but not this summer. But yeah, um, then I just finished up some of these Yankee Candle votives and tarts. Which, I don't even know if you guys want me to say these, but I am. So I finished up two of the votives, one in Marshmallow Chicks, and then one in Cotton Candy, which I love Cotton Candy and Marshmallow Chicks. Both great. I just put those in a little votive warmer kind of thing, a votive kind of uh, thing where you burn the votives in. They're just mini candles. And then there was the Beach Walk Tart, which I hated this tart, so I removed it immediately and put in Summer's Witch, Wish, which I really liked, which is like a citrus and summer scent. So yeah, that's all my empties, um, I had quite a few in this month. I don't know if you could see them all there. But yeah, I had quite a few, and I hope you guys like this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Also, check out my vlog channel, which I will be vlogging way more, and I'm having two huge vlogs come up for my Chicago Day 2 and Day 1 vlog. And then also in the summer, I will have lots of vlogging. But right now, with school's in the end of the year testing, it's so hard to get vlogging done, but on the weekends, I will sometimes have vlogs. So definitely subscribe to that channel and this channel if you're not already. And all my um, social media accounts will be linked down below, so check those out too. And I love you guys all so much, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye, guys.